Hi, David Odell here with Odell Complete Concrete. What we're going to be doing on this job is a continuation of the existing patio, which happens to be a manufactured used brick. And it's setting on top of a concrete base. So what we're going to do is continue the concrete base out from that patio you see there on the left. And we're going to bring it all the way to the wall. Also that brick along the block wall, that's coming out as well. Because the reason it's coming out is it's at the wrong elevation. We want to be at the height of uh, the existing patio. And that band happens to be especially low. Well, we're going to create a step off going into the side yard. Cantilevered. Just like you, you see it on the side of that existing patio, that cantilever edge there. That's what we're going to do with the step down. But the step now is going to be um, going out the side yard. So there was a sprinkler here that we have to uh, cap off. And now I'm taking the laser level and I'm transferring the level of the existing patio straight over to the wall. Also we're going to cut that band out because that's a soldier course. And that's your outside of the existing patio. We're going to remove that. That way we can continue the uh, basket weave pattern all the way across. So in order to do that, we're going to kind of notch back into that, into um, the existing patio, notch it back into the can, into the uh, basket weave pattern. So it'll be an irregular edge. It'll kind of blend in better that way. So I'll run my 12 inch diamond blade and cut it through the mortar joints there because I don't want to loosen up the other brick behind that point. Now this uh, footing and brick soldier course along the property line wall that all comes out. They have a channel drain here and uh, we had some brick against it. We're going to remove that brick as well. Because we want to get a straight grade slope from the existing patio to the side yard so the water can go into the uh, channel drain. So whoever had did this um, brick and concrete work before did it pretty good because it's got some rebar in there. You can see the rebar sticking out of that footing where the brick was setting on. So they did a decent job here. Now what we're going to do also is we're going to dowel into the existing patio base, concrete base. Yeah, this is really the best way to set brick is on top of concrete, even pavers for that matter. If you put it on concrete, you just do it one time, that's it. So we got some dirt out of here, um, moved it around a bit, now we're going to run the plate compactor. Now I have some erratic acid there in that box and since we're using manufactured used brick it has a lot of white on it and over the years, over the 15 or 20 years that existing patio has been here, a lot of that white has worn off. So I'm trying to um, come up with the best way to remove uh, the white color of the brick at least a portion of it relatively easily so I tested some erratic acid on a few just to see how much of that white flash I gotta move off of there and it seemed to work really nicely so that's what we're gonna kinda do to the whole thing when this is said and done we're gonna um, try to light take a lot of the white off of this um, addition so we can blend it better with the existing also we found the pressure washer works really well to remove some of that white flash on there even a uh, belt sanders work that works pretty good as well now here's where that step is gonna go I'm gonna create a um, shelf in this step so my brick can set so I'm gonna have a brick underneath the top brick so the concrete will shelf so that way my bottom brick can sit on top of concrete and then the top brick will cantilever over that. 
I'm pouring right over the top of that existing brick band on the planter although the new um, perimeter of that planter will have the same configuration of brick on our radius there we're just changing the elevation basically now there's the setup for the pour now I created a shelf there to set the brick on We're using number three rebar on about two foot centers. Here we are, day of pour. We left some of that foundation of the existing band in, in there as well along the property line wall. It happened to be low enough to cover. So this is basically just your base for the new brick to go on top of. And don't forget, this is just part one of a two-part series. This is just the concrete base. In the next video, you'll be able to see the actual brickwork. Now, I am putting one control line in here. And that control line, I'm going to uh, line it up with the existing brick all the way back. And that's going to end up being right in one of the joints of uh, the brick going across in between the basket weave pattern. In case it does crack, it won't crack through the brick. It'll be in a mortar joint. Here's the magnesium uh, funny, well that's not magnesium, that's a fiberglass, fiberglass funny float there. We have all the brick stockpiled here already. I think we had around 500 brick on this job. You don't have to do a real nice job on this concrete. You just really want to get it flat. The flatter it is and at the right elevation is, the less work um, you have to do when you're actually laying the brick down. So that means uh, your thin set will be consistent, the consistent thickness all the way through. Now if you had a base that wasn't down flat or at the right level, you'd have to build up. It'd be a lot, a lot harder to set stuff on. So we got this base right where we wanted it. Because I knew I didn't want to do a lot of extra build up when I set the brick. I just want to um, throw some thin set down and maybe mix it with a little mortar if I need to in thicker areas. But I want it to be relatively simple on laying that brick. An important thing when you're get doing this is uh, your brick size and your brick thickness and all dimensions that matches the existing. Now we're just putting a medium broom finish on here. Not really completely necessary, but it'll just adhere a little bit better. Now this is one week later. Concrete's fairly well cured out at this point. It's probably reached 75% of its optimal strength. There's the shelf I was talking about where my brick's going to set on top and then candy cantilever over. Anyway, stay tuned for the second one. That's going to show the actual uh, brickwork in progress and the finished product. 
Have a good day. Thanks for watching.